What up guys, we're doing a review and unboxing today on a controller company called Gamenetics. I wanna start this video off by saying I am not sponsored with this company, I have nothing to do with them at all. I'm just a dude that got a new controller and I wanna show you it and I'll let you know if it's nice or not. One month ago, I tweeted out that I needed a new controller. Previously, I was using a Cinch controller and then it fell off my desk and it broke. One of the triggers got like stuck in the controller. I was using that controller for probably over a year and it still worked great. I have nothing bad to say about Cinch, but then it just got me thinking like what other controllers are out there? So I just tweeted out, hey, does anybody have any recommendations? And my buddy Ebates recommended Gamenetics and he tagged them and they DM me like a minute later saying they would hook me up with a controller. So that whole exchange was super cool to me. I also did ask Gamenetics for a discount code in the event that I like the controller, I recommend the controller, or you guys are in the market for a controller, you're watching this, you think it looks cool. I don't know. So you can use code Big Rob at checkout for I think it's I don't even know what the discount is. Let me check that out. I should have figured that out before I hit record. <laughs> So it looks like my discount is 10%. So yeah, code Big Rob gets you 10% off at checkout. These guys also did let me fully customize this controller. They could have sent me one that was already pre-built and I still would have been really stoked. I always feel fortunate when people send me stuff because, well, they don't have to. <laughs> but they said I could fully customize one and they'll ship it out ASAP. And I think the turnaround time was, I think it was like less than two weeks, which is really fast for custom controllers. Anyways, let's open this bad boy up and see what it's like to get a controller from Gamenetics. See what this presentation's like. Presentation to me is like a big deal. I feel like it clearly shows if a company has pride in what they're doing or not. All right, let's check this box out. A little purple and black box. This actually looks sick. I'm a Ravens fan, so you know I like purple and black. If you're a Steelers fan, dude, I, I, actually don't leave the video. <laughs> I was gonna say something. But yeah, this is a very professional looking and feeling box. Little handwritten note? Dude, I'm telling you guys, this type of stuff goes a long way. Meet the team. We got Tanner, Josh, Dylan, Oakley, Colin, Ben, and Summer. Got the whole team right there with their mission statement. Sincerely, Lolly Nelson. Lolly. Wait, this must be Colin. Sorry, Colin, you are now Lolly Nelson. I expect everybody at the office to call you that. The whole team looks super chill. Josh has blue light glasses on during the day. You gotta respect that. Back to the product itself. Infinite possibilities, unlimited potential. Every time I see infinite, I think of Halo and I get sad. I was gonna say if anybody from Halo is watching this, but they don't have employees. So this is honestly a beautiful presentation. The big reveal. <gasps> Yo, what? Bruh. If you guys know of any other controller companies, I need a new one. That was ridiculous. As you guys can see, I opted to get this thing all gold. Even got my name right there. I don't even remember doing that. <laughs> this black, it's a soft matte. And on the back, I spiced it up a little bit with some chrome triggers and some pretty cool blue splatter. The blue splatter is also like a raised material, so it helps with the grip. The, ah, dude, I can't get over how cool this looks. Then on both sets of triggers, you got the mouse clicks. So with FPS shooters, that helps a lot. On the back, it's kind of hard to see, but there's these two buttons. But these buttons on the back work as the X or the O button, so you never have to take your thumb off the controller. If you've never played with a controller like this or one with paddles, having these features back here makes a huge difference with like most games. So I'm about to show you guys some gameplay and actually use this thing, and then I'll give a final rating of what I really think. But visually, this is by far the sickest controller I've had yet. And I think I've owned like probably four or five controllers. One thing I definitely want to talk about in regards to Gamenetics is that their website is better than any other controller website I've been on. Everything looks good, everything feels smooth. The amount of options there are when it comes to customizing their controller is like three times as much as anybody else too. It took me a long time to do this because there were so many other cool options. And just a reminder, I am not sponsored by this company. This is literally just me as a dude using their website. But we all know what it's like going on a website where things don't work or there's glitches or things just move slow or whatever. And you just get so turned off. You just, you don't, you don't even want to, you don't want to buy anything. Their website is the opposite of that. The whole process was super easy. And as somebody who's owned multiple businesses and even made a living for years building websites, I appreciate a nice website more than anybody. Now let's play some games and see what's up. Dude, I have no idea what guns are even good. <laughs> the controller feels super responsive. The analog sticks feel very quick. 
My last controller definitely had a lot more tension in the sticks, which I liked. This one doesn't feel like that so much. It feels very, uh, very fast, which makes a huge difference. <laughs> Overall, it feels pretty good though. I like this thing. <laughs> There's gonna be a guy right here. Come on out, baby. Come on out, baby. What's up, bitch? So predictable. Oh. So in conclusion, I'm gonna give this controller a nine out of 10. Halfway through the game, I forgot I was even using a brand new controller. So that says a lot. I got used to it really fast and everything felt pretty good. The one thing I do wish was different were the analog sticks. I wish I did just get normal PS5 ones just so my control freaks could fit on it. And I do wish these sticks had a little more tension in them. I found myself flicking the sticks really fast, which makes aiming feel a lot more difficult. But I'm sure after a few games of playing, it'll feel back to normal. So I'm not really that concerned about it. But other than that, this is a beautiful controller. Their website is awesome and their customer service is awesome too. So overall, it was just a great experience. If you're in the market for a new controller, just remember you can use code BIGROB at checkout and get 10% off your controller. Make sure to like this video if you haven't yet. It helps me out a ton. And if you're still here, type the word dump truck in the comments. That's how I know who the real ones are. I appreciate all you guys watching today and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go, baby.